Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jason the X here with another video review. And here I'm taking a look at the Transformers Missing Link Optimus Prime. Now, I have a long history with this toy. Uh, it was actually one that I really wanted when I was a kid, but unfortunately it just never happened. So it was a very long time until I was in possession of an Optimus Prime of my own. And it granted it was, uh, well, we're gonna see that Optimus Prime that I bought a long time ago. But what these are, are reimaginings of the original Optimus Prime toy with a lot better articulation, paint. Uh, these are some great toys. I'm really happy to be getting these and just the old school feel. It's that toy that uh, young Jason never got that he always wanted. So let's take a look first. I'm gonna go ahead and move these boys out. I did get both versions, the C01 and the C02. Now the C01 does come in a very large box. Let me go ahead and just come back a little bit with that. You can see you got the Takari Tomy. Uh, mine's got a little bit of dust on it because I'm late with this review. Actually, this, this version came from Hasbro Pulse and it took them a little bit to get to me. I'm just gonna, you know, be like, hey, what's going on, Hasbro? I'm trying to adjust my camera just a slight bit. There we go, make things nice and even there. But yeah, you got the Transformers Missing Link at the top, the C101 Missing Link Optimus Prime, authentic Takari Tomy product as sold in Japan. On the back side over here, just, you know, that, the box, it's just that black box. We've seen some masterpiece figures come in, some other things. It includes the figure, 10 pieces, character card instructions, so let's take a look at the other packaging that they come in. You've got this classic design here. Oh, this is so nostalgic for me. Uh, you've got, um, and I know someone that reads better Japanese than me is gonna come in the comments and just say, you totally, but that's, I know that's fight super robot life form, uh, Cybertron, uh, CO1, um, the, the Cybertron Supreme Commander Convoy. That is Convoy there. On the side, you got the uh, Cybertron Supreme Commander Convoy over there. On the back, you've got um, all the that classic battle scene that we see. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, that is uh, Supreme uh, Leader of Cybertron, uh, divide into three powerful machines. Uh, convoy is Commander. Uh, with a powerful laser rifle. Uh, buggy can carry out espionage and travel up to uh, 2,000 kilometers. Combat containers have, contain have communication equipment and cannons. Uh, his greatest power is intellect and his mission is to protect humanity and Earth. So bear with me here, guys. I'm really trying. Uh, you got the physical strength, intelligence, uh, endurance, uh, firepower and skill over here. I think status and courage is right here. Yeah. And uh, this is the world of Transformers, a story of the battle between the super hot, uh, uh, this, I, I know Autobots is in there somewhere, and the Decepticons evil that have seen, that have seen space and time. I'm sorry, I'm really, really bad at this. I, I, I wanted to try, I was trying to impress everybody, but you know, uh, you got Formation 1, Formation 2, Formation 3, and Formation 4, the uh, maintenance dock, uh, anti-aircraft gun, the uh, mobile attack system, and the mobile base. So yeah, just, just love the nostalgia on this toy. And of course, the other box, we got some of the same stuff, you know. Uh, a lot more, this is the more cartoon, well, this is the cartoon design here. So you've got like the blue eyes and everything, some of the same stuff repeated here. But man, and he can hold his matrix. This is just a fantastic toy. I'm so happy to get this. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this convoy. And this is the anime accurate one. So I love the tempo in here of the Autobot symbol. Very clean. I mean, we've been getting Transformers for years and this is the cleanest um, truck bed that we've gotten in a long time. Nice rubber tires on here. Lots of chrome on the tires. On these, uh, those are air filters, I think, on the trucks. They're not actually gas tanks. You got the stacks in chrome here. 
and there are no stickers here. All of this is tampoed, all of this. And this is kind of why I wanted this one. It just has that, uh, that more anime look. And I actually got this from Hobby Link. And then I got this version from Hasbro Pulse. But, and he's got the rub symbol. So you can get that nice and warmed up. Let's get further in there, there you go. And he is an Autobot, if there was any doubt. But yeah, very cool. You can't open up the cab. And he does have a matrix inside, which we can get into the accessories. Like I said, it does have a matrix with the uh, clear translucent plastic in a nice blue. I love that little hexagon design in there. On the other side, it's a little bit more uh, wide, but coloring is very nice on it. And it does have a special housing in here, which can be removed. Let me just get that out of there. So you can take this out, put the matrix inside. And if you remove it though, you can get the seats where you would store the fists for the uh, old convoy. And you can close it up. And all this is a nice die cast metal up here on the front. But along with this matrix accessory, you do get a nice cannon. And the difference between this cannon and I'm gonna show you the old one is you actually have a peg in the back, whereas the old one had a handle. And this is not the old one per se. This is uh, the one that came with the Walmart exclusive uh, that came out a couple years ago. But I just wanted to compare it how he's actually got a peg because he can hold this rifle properly instead of holding it like at the middle here, which was, you know, a big downer. Oh, I did want to do some comparisons. Oh, wait, wait, but go ahead. I'm just gonna keep going with the accessories. He does also come with an Aerojohn ax which is in a nice orangey color. Same color we saw on the debut episode of Transformers. Love this thing, and it just pegs around the fist. Cool little accessory to add. Uh, some of these uh, cards do uh, share some things, but they do come with different cards. You get this with the anime version, and this with the uh, toy version. And on the back, you have the same stuff. It's just a little bit, these have holes in them. I guess they're supposed to hang from something. Uh, you do get a set of instructions with the trailer version. And with the non-trailer version, they're pretty much the same. They just, you know, have the trailer stuff in there. Trying to keep it separate. You do get the little decoder for each one. <coughs> the uh, anime version does come with a set of stickers, but I'm less inclined to put these on. I, I, think, I think it's just fine as it is, whereas the larger version does come with a bigger sticker sheet. I haven't applied any of these to the trailer and uh, I'll get around to it, I just I just haven't yet. And they both have these nice little catalogs or just, not catalogs. I'm used to these having like other transformers in them from back in the day, but it just tells you a little bit more about the story of the transformers and some stuff about the missing link um, I am not even going to try to read through all that. It took me long enough just to kind of look through the other stuff. But you just get a look at the figure. Uh, this comes with both of them, how they look, comparing it to the anime version. Like I said, guys, this is a fine toy. I think they're still available if you're actually looking for one to add to your collection. So let's do a couple of comparisons real quick before we get into the transformation. So I wanted to bring you the original Optimus Prime that I found uh, years after I had stopped collecting Transformers. I just, I found this at a garage sale and uh, yeah, he's seen some better days. Uh, he's missing stickers. I don't know how many more times I'm going to be able to transform this guy because he just, I know I have fists somewhere. I just couldn't find them for the review, but yeah, you can see he's seen better days. We're just gonna put him in the back over here old Prime, and I do have the one that was released from uh, Walmart uh, last year. These were on sale, and I picked one up. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit different in shade. Uh, the stacks are the same. These, um, This one actually has the stickers applied, but it's more of that uh, G1 version. You do, all, you do all the transformation and stuff, and let me get his fists out of here so you can see what one looks like. In the background, Yeah, I, I will rarely turn down an Optimus Prime toy. So there you go. And we will fit him with his original rifle. There we go. And just put him in the back over here. So we just got primes on primes here. Now, on to the missing link version. This is where things are gonna start getting good here. Excuse me, I didn't mean to hit this thing. 
So the first thing you want to do is bring out the arms. And you'll notice these don't have that hole there like you see on the other prime. They actually molded in some detail here so you can separate the arms. And bring them out and I brought out the hand. The fists just kind of go inside the body. You just fold them out and as you can see the hands do open and close. Bring these out. You want to split the wheels underneath. And then you want to kind of separate the legs because there's a little bit of a lip right here. Bring these down and then just kind of pull them apart at the crotch until they click into place. Bring the wheels down, tab them in, bring the feet down, got the arms out. And last but not least, you go ahead and just reveal the head. And there you have the missing link convoy in robot mode and it looks it looks really good. Now I'm like I said I'm not applying stickers to this one. I like him just the way he is. Very anime Optimus Prime. Still got these really long arms, that awkward look and I, I love it. I'm here for it. I mess around with this so much before I've done the review because um, it looks great. It feels fantastic. Uh, the main thing on this is the added articulation. So Starting at the bottom, you can ankle tilt his feet all the way around. This is a 360 degree joint. Of course, the transformation does allow you to pivot the ankles a little bit. You can bend at the knee and all this lovely chrome. Look at that lovely chrome. You can bend the knee well past 90 degrees. You do have, and it actually goes forward a bit too. So if, if you need to do that, you have uh, thigh rotation. Of course, both legs is a little bit sticky. Legs will go forward about that far. Of course, they'll go all the way back for transformation. You can uh, tilt the wheel up and bring the leg out to the sides and get some kick in action. Kick in action. Uh, the waist does rotate. The waist rotates up here. So you just want to rotate it up here. It is a little bit limited just by the bumper. You see it's one piece up there. He does have an ab crunch which is on a mighty click there. The arms will do a 360, nothing surprising there, but they will also go out. You have joints here inside the shoulders and joints here, you can go all the way up. He can get the full, the full Y in a YMCA, man. Bring those back down. Uh, of course, going back just because of the transformation. The elbows will bend, we could do that before. Nice ratchet joints there and it twists at the elbow too. You can rotate down there. The fists rotate as well and the hands open and close. This toy is great and the head will turn 360 degrees. This toy is great. So yeah, you can go ahead and we're just gonna throw that matrix back in here just so we can put the chamber back in. Just go ahead and seat that in there. Close them up. Boom. Not, you know, the cartoon where the chest opens up and everything, but hey. And then, of course, he can hold his ion blaster here. This looks fantastic. And you can close this part around the hand. You don't have to remove the hand like some other toys that we've seen where they did, did have the Energon Axe. We're just kind of plugged in. I think that was later. I think that was like an add-on. But, yep, you just close it around. And there you have Optimus in his robot mode. And he has just all the pose ability that you need. I mean, just this, this is amazing to me. To think that I have this toy that can do all of this, this pose ability, this old school transformer on the 40th anniversary, it's great. It is great. As you can see, he doesn't have any stickers applied because this is the anime version, but he does have the detail down here and at the knees that you've seen, I do love they only tampoed one Autobot symbol there. But man, it's just such a great toy. I'm gonna put him back here and let's go ahead and take a look at the C01. Uh, I, I, do, I do prefer the, uh, the O2 version just because, you know, this is kind of like the toy I wanted um, that was accurate to what I was seeing in the cartoon. It's kind of hard to stand like right here. Let me just get him in a more, neutral kind of pose. There we go. 
We'll just put him in the back. Sorry, old boy. Now this one transforms just the same, except he has got some uh, yellow windows. This is more, you know, reminiscent of what the toy, although that amber is really standing out because his spark chamber is a little bit uh, different and I'll show that off. Now this one came with all this pre-applied. This is the detail on that transformer is actually painted here. We'll go ahead and bring his head up now. Split the legs. That is my Discord going off. I wonder who it is. I won't check. It's probably it's probably somebody from the crew. You just bring those in. Same transformation. And voila. You have the CO1 transformed into his robot mode. And the uh, like I said, the difference is you do get the stickers on both sides, but I don't have to apply stickers. You have the tampos right over here. This painted detail, the painted detail on this machinery here, and on the the tail lights with the grill here, and the yellow eyes. Of course, you got the venting over there. I love it. Now his matrix is a little bit different. We're gonna just bring that out. Oh, well, trying not to break this thing. So you've got a more chromed uh, matrix chamber, and the matrix itself is actually gold. Uh, and not translucent. This is actually painted in the middle. So I don't know, I, I don't like this one as much. I like the other uh, Spark, well, the other Matrix better. But if you close it up without the windows, you'll see they're more like the original toy, uh, just kind of clear, maybe a little bit of like, you know, that kind of discoloration on the plastic, but nothing, you know, nothing yellowing. But yeah, if you close this up, they definitely look yellow with that gold spark chamber in there. Now I do wish this one had come with the other blaster, the more pointy one, like we got with the uh, the Walmart version. The Walmart version actually included both of them, uh, but I kind of wish they had gone with that pointier design or given us both. And of course he can hold his rifle and his Energon Axe is more of a translucent kind of orange. You can really see the fist in there and it's it's uh, a lot just a lot more clear and the shade's a little bit darker. Now we put him back, and last but not least, let's take a look at the trailer. Now I do have an old, the old trailer that came with the other one, and the plastic seems a little bit lighter on this one. Uh, it could just be that this is old. Mine is missing the door, and I don't know where the roller is. I don't know if I ever had the roller. Uh, I don't remember, but this guy opens up just like all of the Optimuses of lore. And you can, uh, of course, put the little struts out to the side that'll help stand this up better. And there you have the battle platform, which he does come with four of these missiles, which will fire. I like that they're the short missiles too, because I know some of the reissues had those really uh, longer ones and I didn't like those so much. But you do have roller here. And he's got the little uh, little gas tank with the rubber hose. So these are two different pieces joined by the hose. And you can just put them over there. But roller is nice and silver. Uh, this does tilt uh, back for the gun and it rotates around for the little light. I don't remember if roller came with that. I'm pretty sure my blue one did not. I'm pretty sure my blue one just had the hose on there. And uh, But yeah, you can do a little bit of transformation on roller. Uh, place Optimus's gun in here. You know, we'll just use the old gun here. So there you go, anti-aircraft gun there. And the wheels are on sprues. You just cut them off and stick them on there. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, I know my old one would fire out and this one does not have that feature. I kind of wish it did, but you know, you can still, you know, hey, get them out of there. And of course you can bring up the battle platform and this does, um, I think it just slides out of here or it pegs out. I know, oh, there we go. I know it removes. <laughs> so it removes and you've got the wheels underneath. That was a lot louder than I thought it was gonna be. So you got the claw hand over here. You've got the radar antenna over here. So you can spin around, bring my camera up a little bit so you can see that. The cockpit does open, get a little seat inside. You've got some diaclone figures laying around. But yeah, he will roll. Got six little wheels down there. 
So yeah, there was just a little T-bar here that, you know, just slides on there. So yeah, there are a lot of stickers to put on this guy. I do want to put the go on there just to have that over there. But you know what? I'll get around to that. No big rush. Uh, I like how these are. These are very nice and vinyl, so they might hold up a little bit more. But yeah, that's the battle platform. And of course, you can uh, close up the trailer around that and spin it around. So it's more of a attack base, one of the other formations. Oop, I just fired off a missile. These things are on hair triggers, I'm telling you. But very cool just to have a nice, complete Optimus Prime. And I have some, but they, you know what? I don't think they've ever like felt the way that the original Prime should have felt. Um, but these guys, man, they really just kind of, they just hit the spot. I know they're not the originals, but I would dare say they might be a little bit better than the originals just because of the, the posability, the tampo, the less stickers and everything. I love these toys. They're definitely on my top 10 list for the year. Uh, just happy to finally get them. And I believe they're still available on Hasbro Pulse if you want to get them or some websites out there. But man, they just they just spark nostalgia. I love them. I love both versions. I don't know. One might get displayed on my desk at work and another might get displayed on my desk at home. So yeah, I've got a lot of Transformers on desk. But these are fine toys. Uh, I'd say the price point is about right. Considering everything that you're getting with die cast and just the tempo and the quality. Yeah, I'd say the price point is right. Uh, especially if you get the trailer version, but the real choice is going to be which one do you want? Do you want the toy accurate or do you want the cartoon accurate? I clearly couldn't decide because I got both. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'm Jason the X. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out other videos on Super Cool Nerd Show. Check out supercoolnerdshow.com. And that's all for me. Until next time, guys, I will catch you later.